learning from some of the lovely Linda Kelly work, let's see what happens when we go to sit on this chair. Now you may notice that not only do I sit, but my avatar is actually has a pose with some movements. This is created by the use of something called a pose ball. Now if I right click this object, you may be able to notice that there's this little round shape over in the uh, on the back of the chair here. That is what's called the pose ball. Let me click edit and you can see the different pieces. There are 11 primitives, that means shapes, that are here. And I can unlink them all, but what I can do right now is just edit linked parts and I can focus in on this one object. You'll see that when I focus in on it and click over to the content tab, you can find out by clicking this that it actually has a script in it. And the script directs the avatar to sit and to move the way that this particular script is um, designed. I'm going to close that. There's also a way that you can play some of these actions even in the world itself. So there are many ways you can make movement, but one of the ways is to put this pose ball into an object. Pose balls are interesting and often enough you may have to actually reorient them with some of the objects. I'll show you what I mean. Let me edit this linked part and I'm going to just click on the pose ball and I'll pull it out a little bit. Let's move it over here. So it's still actually part of the object and I'll click away. Now when I go to sit on this particular item, you'll see what happens. I'm not sitting where I, you would expect I would be. I'm sitting where the pose ball is. So the orientation of the pose ball makes a big difference. You can have some fun and learn here. Now I can actually unlink all the pieces, but before I do that, I'm going to go and edit linked parts and I'm going to go to my pose ball, which right now is invisible. And I'm going to click and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go up to texture and I'm going to give it a texture. Let me give it just arbitrarily cement blocks. And let me give it a color too so it'll stand out. Okay, now I have a pose ball that's different and I'm going to unlink all my parts. Okay, this, be careful, can be a little bit disastrous, but now I have a prim known as a, okay, it's a blank pose ball, and I'm going to put that into my inventory. I took it away completely. Now I want to see what are some of the things I can do with the pose ball, and I'm going to just put a shape out here and I'm going to bring it up and I'm holding shift and control on the keyboard making it a little bit bigger. Uh, now I'm going to hold control and I'm going to flip it around. Okay, just to give me a shape. And I'm going to go over to my inventory and I remembered that it was called a blank pose ball and here it is. So I had started typing it earlier. I'm going to pull it out over onto the um, shape that I just made. Let me close that. Now I'll zoom in here. They're not connected yet, so I'm going to click on the pose ball. I'm going to do edit. I'm going to put it over and on this object. Let me see if I can. Yeah, sometimes I can't see these too well. I'm going to hold down shift, click it again, and now I'll just link them. And they're called a the primitive, but let me call it a testing pose ball just in case I want to keep it. Okay, now it's always a guess as to how you're going to wind up sitting, but let's right click on it and click sit here. And all oh, right, okay, I am sitting, but if you remember the original pose was different. So let me see if I can edit my and focus in just on the pose ball itself. So you would just continue to practice with pose balls and objects that you could get from other vendors like Linda and learn how to create your own objects. But a warning, pose balls are how they create some of the quote adult poses as well. So be careful when you get any pose balls from other people that you know exactly what they're doing so you don't have any surprises.